Hi guys, so Strawberry Electric 48 tagged me to do this tag, the beauty things I suck at tag, and when I saw the title of this, I was like, oh my gosh, I really hope she tagged me, because this is perfect for me, because I feel like I'm just not good at a lot of beauty things. I get impatient and just, mm. so yeah, she tagged me and I was really excited. You guys should check out her channel and her video. I will have it linked below, so check it out. She's awesome. And she lives pretty close to me, like a state away. So, like in YouTube world, that is pretty close. So, yeah. So, I'm starting with you see, I have a straightener in my hand here. All aspects of hair I just suck at. I am not good at straightening my hair. My hair is really frizzy naturally, and like this takes me a long time long time to do. And this is not how it looks when I go to school. When I go to school, there's like frizzy pieces and stuff and I'm like oh my gosh I did not have time to like finish it but like before I make a video I, and I can see myself in a viewfinder so if it looks totally crazy then I can like fix it but I'll show you I think um near the back here see how that gets kind of frizzy and um yeah and it's actually growing out right now too but I'm getting it done tomorrow um, and that's one thing, I would never trust myself with dyeing my own hair, ever, because I know I would just be so terrible at that, and my hair would become orange, for sure. So, next, I'm really bad at picking the right shade of makeup, I'm just not good at this, and, um, yeah, by the time I do get the right shade, my skin tone will, like, change, because it's, like, winter to summer and stuff like that, and, like, I don't know. Honestly, I always end up using whatever my sister or my mom uses, and sometimes it doesn't really look perfect, and I'll, like, mix some together, and yeah. But I actually recently got this makeup app on my phone that, um, it helps you, like, find the right shade of makeup for your skin tone. I've been using it. Hold on, let me bring it up. Okay. I actually just got this, like, last night. But I was looking at it in class today, like, okay. It's one of those things where you can, like, make over the model. And I used to do that when I was younger, like, on websites. Like, you can, like, make over the model and add eye makeup and whatnot. You can do that on here. And then you can also shop based on, like, the skin tone or whatever that it has. So that it kind of matches to your skin tone. So that's pretty cool and useful. But right now the buttons don't work the best. But basically, it's only 99 cents right now, so that's not very much, like less than coffee, so yeah. <laughs> Next, I suck at putting on mascara. I um, get it on my eyelid because I curl my eyelashes a lot because they're really short and I want them to like stand out, so let me just zoom in here. Okay, you can see that right there. And also this is really dirty. I actually need a new one because I took it on a plane, so I feel like that messes these up. It gets them all dry and stuff, but yeah. Um, yeah, that got messed up. That actually is my eyeliner, which I pride myself in being pretty good at putting eyeliner on, but this morning I put it on like perfectly then I started curling my eyelashes with my half lash curler and it smeared it I was like wow that's great that is great so I was just like whatever like mascara goes over it like people never really notice that unless it's on a YouTube video then everyone comments about it so yeah those are things that I suck at that I can think of right now let me think of more um I know I can think of more like Oh my god, yes. Okay, I know. Self-tanning. I am I feel like I'm pretty good at using self-tanner, but I have one problem area, and that is my neck. When I put it on my neck, it gets splotchy. For what reason, I have no idea. I can exfoliate it a ton, just like my neck, which is weird, too. Like, I'll exfoliate it a ton, put self-tanner on, Blend it in amazingly well. Like, there's no way you could get splotchy, you might think. Like, if I did it on my leg or on my face or something like that. 
but on my neck it's just like a problem I don't know it's just fills in these random areas and it's the same areas every time it's like I have a really weird texture on my neck and then it looks really weird and I'll put like lotion over it to try and blend it and it just no it will never look good ever it's like my skin is just messed up on my neck I don't really know I don't know why and it's so weird so I kind of avoid doing that because it looks so weird so weird it's like I feel right here the texture of my neck and it's like not normal so I don't know maybe I should see someone about that <laughs> but yeah okay I'm gonna tag people for this tag I will tag my sister Monica Herodynamic Crazy Ray Ray that's Saray she lives in Washington yeah um RCL Beauty 101 I'll tag her I'm sure that Christy tagged Beauty Baby 44, but I'll just go ahead and tag her too because I really like her videos. Um. Those are people that I watch a lot. It'd be kind of interesting for It's Judy time because I feel like she's really good at makeup, so if she did it, that'd be cool, but yeah, I watch her vlogs. Um. Yeah, I can't, I'm really bad at thinking of stuff right off the top of my head. Kaylee McKenzie, I watch her. She should do that. She should do it. Yeah. Okay. 